Well, breast augmentation surgery can actually be done with one of two different types of implants, either silicone gel filled breast implants or saline filled breast implants. Uh, the interesting thing about these implants is that the outer membrane is made up of a semi-solid silicone membrane and is identical in either type of implant. The main difference is what's inside. Uh, silicone gel filled breast implants are now completely FDA approved. Uh, they've always been considered safe among plastic surgeons in the industry, although now we have the scientific evidence to show and prove the safety profile, thus the recent FDA approval in 2006, bringing them back completely on the market for cosmetic use. Saline filled breast implants are filled with saline or salt water. The interesting thing about this implant is that you can actually adjust the size of the implant while during the course of surgery, so that you may select an implant size and alter the shape just a little bit in, in very small amounts in order to add a little bit extra finesse to the surgery. Um, the disadvantage of saline filled breast implants I've always felt is that they don't necessarily look or feel as natural as silicone gel filled breast implants. Of course we perform both um, at the Premier Plastic Surgery Center of New Jersey and ultimately the decision is completely up to the patient. Part of our decision making process is I sit with the patients and I hand them one of each type of implant and we look at them together and we discuss the advantages or disadvantages of each. One of the things that I like to tell my patients is that if they have any trouble whatsoever with the thought of using a silicone gel breast implant, then they should just go with a saline filled breast implant. We've been using this implant for years and it's provided fantastic natural results.